there. You're listening to The Mighty Mommy with some quick and dirty tips for practical parenting. Poor sports, sore losers, and gleeful gloaters are no fun. I've started experiencing the sore loser syndrome from both of my children. It seems as though everything is a competition. Who can fasten their seatbelt first? Who can drink all their milk first? Who can run the fastest? Who can pick up the most toys? Oh, okay, I like the last one a lot. Actually, I don't mind a little healthy competition between siblings. It's the whining, complaining, and gloating I can do without. I think once my kids are involved in competitive sports, should they choose to be, this could be a problem. I'm looking at ways to help children behave appropriately, whether they're a winner or a loser. Regardless of the activity, I think it's important to make sure it's something your child actually wants to do. It's difficult for kids to have fun when they don't like the activity. I'm specifically talking about activities your child is engaged in for the sole purpose of having fun. I loved playing softball, and I was thrilled when my mom coached my teams. I wanted to go to the games, I looked forward to the practices, and I was a fairly decent player. I wanted to play. If I decide now that because I love softball and baseball as a child, that my children will enjoy it just as much, I may be wrong. Neither of my children have shown any interest in those sports yet, but they may or may not enjoy them in the future. If you find that your child is unhappy in an activity, please listen. Real life isn't like the movies. Little Johnny probably isn't going to suddenly catch the fly ball that causes his team to win the game. It could happen, but chances are slim. If Johnny says he doesn't like it, says he's unhappy playing, or if he asks you to do something else, you're probably wasting your time and money forcing him to continue. If Johnny begged you to sign up, that's a different story. And of course, you'll need to let him know that you kept your promise and see if he's willing to stay the course. Just try to avoid causing bad memories of, my parents made me do something I hated. Once you have your child engaged in an activity he enjoys, encourage him to do his best. Learning a new sport or skill can be frustrating. Whether he's competing against others or trying to improve or compete against himself, always offer positive and encouraging words. Children have a way of wanting to give up when they don't win. Remind them that the ultimate goal is to have fun. Winning is nice, yes, but it's also nice when everybody gets an opportunity to have fun. Remind him that everyone also has more fun when the loser is a good sport. If he does lose, encourage him to congratulate the winner and let the winner know that he enjoyed the fun game. A gracious winner will appreciate the good sportsmanship. You can encourage your child by praising his best efforts. Even if he's not doing well, he's learning and trying. Providing positive feedback will encourage him to keep doing his best and will help him improve. If your child doesn't catch a ball, you could say, Good try, you were so close, you're getting better every time. If your child is frustrated, be sure to acknowledge and understand his frustration. I know it's difficult. I can see you're struggling with this, but remember, the goal is to have fun. Everybody has to practice to improve. You are improving every day. Keep your conversation light, positive, upbeat, and never demanding. The more pressure you put on a child to succeed in an activity meant for enjoyment, the less enjoyment he's going to get out of it. One of the best ways I've found to ease my daughter into being a team player is to speak to her nurturing side. That's great when she's playing with her little brother especially. By coaching her on how to encourage her brother, it seems to make her a better sport. For example, if she helps her little brother to win a game, she can congratulate him and be happy for him. And if he loses, she can let him know that he'll do better next time. If you can teach your child to encourage others and to be nurturing and understanding, it will help him cope better with his own losses. That also works great when my daughter's having a rough time. I already see my son mimicking her by supporting and encouraging her. It's great to have siblings who can work together to learn good sportsmanship. Even if your child doesn't have siblings to work with, you can play with your child in the same way and have the same effect. You can also discuss this method with other parents whose children play with your child and encourage this type of back-and-forth support during play dates. Whether it's a game of Candyland or a foot race, taking turns winning and supporting one another is great practice. Finally, and most obviously, be a good sport yourself. As is always the case, your children are watching you. If you're standing on the sidelines of their soccer game yelling negative things at the opposing team or at the ref, your kids will see you. You are setting the example. If you have a grievance at one of your child's sporting events, please use discretion. Behave as if your child is watching your every move, because he probably is. If you are a poor sport, you certainly can't expect your child to be any different. Make sure that if you or your team lose, you lose graciously. Also, though you should be absolutely proud of your winners, gloating is entirely inappropriate. Winning is fun, but always tell your opponents and teammates how great it was to play with them or what a challenge they offered. At the end of any sporting event, when you and the kids line up to high-five and say, Good game! Be sure both you and your child really mean it. Good sportsmanship carries over into all parts of life. Now is a great time to start teaching it. That's it for now. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to request a topic for the Mighty Mommy, you can email me directly at mommy at quickanddirtytips.com or leave a message by calling 
206-202-2185. This is your friend, the Mighty Mommy, wishing you happy and fun parenting. Mm-hmm.